Hi, I'm Bill from Beyond Fitness Online. And today I wanna to talk to you about posture and its correlation to the vestibular system and how to work on that very easily. Now, whenever we're thinking about posture, we always think about stand up nice and tall, keep your head over your shoulders, keep your shoulders down and back and all that stuff. Now, to some extent that's correct, but when we're talking about actual posture, we've gotta think about not just static posture when you're standing there, but also dynamic posture when you're moving. And all of that should be controlled subconsciously. Now, here's how this works. Your vestibular system in your inner ear, which you've probably heard me talk about before, tells your brain which way gravity is pulling you, and it's constantly sending signals to your brain every time you move. Now, you've also got what's called the corticospinal tract, which is just a pathway from the brain down to the spine, essentially, and it helps to set the tone in the muscles that help you with good posture. And of course, as your weight shifts, those muscles need to be able to shift their tension. Now, the corticospinal tract and the vestibular nucleus have a direct connection, and we won't get into the physiology of all that now, but there's a direct connection, meaning that when the vestibular system says, hey, gravity is this way, then the corticospinal tract gets a signal that says, we've got to adjust our muscle tension this way so that we don't fall over. And more importantly, so we can keep good posture. So it's important to really work on that part of the vestibular system. And that part is called the utricle. And that is responsible for linear movement forwards and backwards and side to side. So what we wanna do is put a combination of that kind of movement with some spinal stability. And I'm gonna show you a couple exercises right here. The first exercise is a variation of a farmer's walk. By holding weights in our hand, it forces us to have better posture. We also keep a visual target to keep our head up high and let our vestibular system know where we're going. The band around the hips adds additional resistance to our backwards walk, which helps to stimulate more of the utricle. The next exercise is a lateral lunge using that same band, and it is positioned at our midline with our arms. That lateral resistance forces us to keep good posture while we move laterally. I hope you found that interesting. Give those exercises a try. Send me a little note below and let me know what, how that worked for you and what you thought of those, or if you have any other ideas that might be a good one for that particular kind of thing. If you have any other questions, also leave those in the comments, or you can check out my website at www.beyondfitnessonline.com. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I post new updates every Friday. And until next time, live healthy.